Welcome Libra and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading for March 2020. Please however keep in mind that time is fluid so whenever you view this it could be a past, present, or future situation for you. If it does not resonate at all please try checking your moon, rising, and Venus signs for love. There are timestamps in the description box below if you would like to go ahead and skip to the actual reading. I would really appreciate it if you guys do stay for the announcement though. It is a bit important. I have recently announced that I am going to be doing a monthly giveaway for my subscribers. Each month, three of you are going to be able to earn the chance to win a free 20-minute reading with me. Since announcing that, I have gotten countless emails and messages from people begging to win the reading. And I just want to say that I know that you guys are going through a hard time. I am truly empathetic to that. Um, but th there's basically no way that I could give every single person who asks for a reading. You know, I just don't have the time. As much as I wish I could help because I know that you guys are hurting, you're looking for guidance. It's just, it's just, it's just impossible, okay? Um, and I want to make it also very clear that if anyone contacts me... Um, inappropriately trying to persuade me to choose them or favor them for the reading, you will automatically be disqualified from any future re um, giveaways that I do in the future, okay? It, it's just, it's not fair. And I'm, and I'm not going to play favorites. I want it to be fair for everyone. And because of the amount of uh, messages I have received, I am going to be changing how the entries are taken for the giveaway. So in order to... Um, enter for the monthly giveaways i need you guys to follow me on instagram and comment on any of my posts to enter that way i can privately message you guys if you win you know there's no like waiting for you guys to email me because again you know if, if so and such wins and i get three so and such is messaging me, you know, i have no idea of knowing who's who you know and i just want to make sure that whoever gets wins gets their read and i can actually message you guys individually on instagram and make sure the winner receives what their their earnings, right? This card is going to come out. So take it. We have the two of wands on the bottom of the deck. Now, during you guys' pre-shuffle message, I was kind of, I kept getting the ace of wands, the ten of cups, the lovers. Like, I feel like there is a major change in your love life. Like, this person new or old like there's like a new flame with this person it's like the dynamics of the relationship are dramatically taking a turn and it's really exciting like you're really excited about this it's like you have been waiting i feel like a lot of you have been waiting for somebody like this for quite some time and i feel like if this is somebody from the past like the dynamics of the relationship are really taking a major turn high honor it's taking a major shift here. Marriage. Yeah. Any additional messages for Libra? Okay. Lots of cards. All right. We have false person and distant horizons. High honor and marriage. Interesting. Now keep in mind, guys, I know I've got a lot of support from you guys recently on my singles video. This is a general, so it's not going to be for every single one of you. Please check your other placements. You, your messages could be there. Um, Libra, I'm going to raise your energy here, your person's energy here. It's general, so feel free to flip it or reverse it. You may find your energy even scatters about. All right. Starting here. Five of Cups. So you're missing somebody. You're missing a connection. You're thinking about someone that you're not currently with. You're feeling distant from this person. This is water energy. You're feeling separate. You know, you're, you... You're feeling lonely. Yeah. You're, like you're waiting for this person. Empress. Taurus Libra energy. So this is you. Taking a seat on your throne. And, you know, the Empress is the embodiment of all the queens. It's divine feminine energy. This is someone very beautiful. Someone very abundant. Someone very nurturing. Very loving. Someone very fertile. Someone very creative. Um, you know, she is the, the ideal partner, right? You can't really get better than the empress, you know, male or female doesn't matter. This person, they, 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 they're noticing you in this light. 
the world. So yeah, there's like a completion here. There's a chapter closing and there's new growth and expansion happening here. I feel like if you've been left out in the cold or, you've, or you're feeling distant, you know, yearning for this person, waiting for this person, there's about to be a change here. This person, they can't stay away from you, you know, Capricorn energy here. This person, they feel bound to you. It's like they can't break that hold that you have on them. It's like no matter how far you guys are apart, you're never far from their mind. And I feel like there's a lot of attraction too. For your person here, we have the Ten of Wands. So it's too much for them to hold back from you. I mean, emotionally, they're having a hard time here. They're having a really hard time staying away from you. We have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to make serious offers to you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This person has, you know, the potential here for someone to be committed, stable. You know, there's... A potential for a solid foundation here you know and i feel like they're working on this offer you know it is slow moving but it's a king so like they're they're serious right and they want to make sure that when they bring this offer to you that it's shiny enough that it's large enough because you are as an empress and they know what you deserve they know you, you that you you have the power to refuse and have anyone that you want you know you can have you could have the King of Pentacles, you could have the King of Swords, the King of Wands, King of, you could have anybody you want. Anybody you want. You're an empress. And you deserve an emperor. And I feel like they're not quite an emperor yet, but they're working on this offer. We have the Knight of Wands. And they're feeling very passionate. They want to move towards you quickly. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. They swiftly want to move towards you. They feel a lot of attraction and desire for you. This person, they're... I'm really not getting the sense that they want to play games. You know, this can be a player, but I'm not feeling that with this card here. I feel like this person, they just, they want to be serious with you. But they, it's like they're holding themselves back until they can, like they're work, like, I, like I'm seeing them work, like building a home. Like they see that they see the future in the, in the, in the distant horizon, right? They see it there. They're working towards it. They're trying to build up this offer. They're trying to shine up this pinnacle. They're looking at it, make sure they're inspecting it over and over and over again to make sure there's no cracks on the foundation and that when they present this offer to you, you won't be able to refuse it. And they're fighting this urge to be impulsive and just charge straight ahead towards you. There's a lot of desire built up here with these cards. Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person. Look, if we have two fast moving energies, it is the Knight of Wands and Knight of Swords. They want to, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, they want to charge in here, sword drawn, and fight for you. They want to fight for you because you're an empress. Now, they're not quite an emperor yet. You know, they're working on that. They're building up slowly. But they, they're ready to charge in here and, and to win you. You know? I'm just clarifying too. Let's do that. Let's clarify that five of cups. Two of Wands. They're making a decision here. They're making a decision to move towards you. Yeah, see, Six of Swords travel. They're making the decision to move towards you. They, they're they missing you as well. They are missing you. Let's clarify the shadow side. And this person, Virgo Energy, they've had a lot of time to reflect here. They've really gone within and thought about this. They can't break that whole Queen of Pentacles. You're the queen to their king, right? They, they've really taken some time to reflect and they feel like your soulmates, you know, they feel a strong soul tied to you. They know they can't break the hold you have on them. You know, you have their heart. It's like no matter how hard they try to go within and withdraw their energy from you, they can't, they can't fight the connection. Clarify that ten of wands. They're ending something. They're ending something. You know, this could be a, a job. This could be like a project. This could be school. Like this could be them living far away. Clarify that ten of swords. Okay, we have the world. Yeah, they're completing a cycle. For some of them, it could be a karmic situation they're ending, but they're ending something. It could just be the the need to like hold back from you emotionally. But they they they're letting that go. They're letting that go. It's too much. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. They're working on offer here and they're they're fighting like it's like a part of them wants to go slow, but then a part of them wants to like rush towards you and they're trying to fight hold back. Clarify that knight of swords. What do they want to communicate to you? Yeah, 
we have the Fool, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Rods. Well, they want to communicate Aries energy here. They want to communicate that they steadily want to move towards you. They want a new beginning here. They want to take a leap of faith. They want to take that chance with you. They want to impulsively move towards you, but they know they have to fight that urge. There's a lot of, again, Knight of Rods, yet again, this person has a lot of desire and attraction for you. This person it, they are feeling very passionate, but they know they have to rein in. They know it's not time to take that leap yet. They have to hold themselves back. We have the three of wands on the bottom deck. They're yearning for you. They are longing for you. They're waiting to be with you. We have the six of cups. So this person, past life soulmate energy. This could be an ex for some of you, a childhood sweetheart. You could have children with this person. For others of you, this is reminiscing, thinking about the past, thinking about, you know, a future as well and seeing those children there you know it's about life creation and it's about the two of you coming together you know if like there is distance here there's definitely under that window that we have the okay this is beautiful under that we have the four of wands and the star now the star is an indicator of twin flame reunion so this is 11 11 twin flame energy this person is longing they are yearning to be with you they're waiting, they're feeling distance here, and they want to heal and temper the situation, and they want to work together with you. They want to work with you. This person, you know, if they've been indecisive before, they're putting it into that, and they're choosing a path, Scorpio energy. This person is choosing Ten of Cups, the Sun, and the Nine of Pentacles. They see your worth. They see potential here. Leo energy. We have water and earth as well. This person, they see all. They are visualizing. They are realizing some truths here. They see abundance. They see a potential for a family. Like I'm literally picturing someone laying in bed on Sunday morning and, you know, the kids are running there in their little footy jammies and they're jumping on the bed and they're so excited. You know what I'm saying? That I'm seeing you guys grow old and sit on the porch together and drink your coffee in the morning. It's like I'm seeing like the whole picture. They're seeing that with you and they see your value. They see your worth pre empress energy. They know they can build a life with you. So here we have high honor in marriage. So I feel like this is a very. We have two and five. We have a seven. We have a three. There's, it's coming to a completion here. Like somebody here very well could be in a commitment or a marriage. That's just for some of you, not for all of you. Okay. This is general. That could be for one person, but this is, this it's a risky, okay? there's high stakes here. This person wants to do the right thing, okay? This person, they want to do the right thing, okay? They they have appearances, they have obligations. Maybe they want to court you, maybe they're, maybe their family doesn't approve, you know, just like running up to Vegas, you know, they want, they want to take things slow, they want to do things the right way here for others of you, they're in a marriage with the false person, and they're feeling distant from you, and that's what's causing a complication and a hiccup here, is that they have obligations, but they don't, you know, they want to transform the situation, you know, this reminds me of the death card, which it always looks scary, but please keep in mind, this card, you're seeing that barren field, but you're seeing all the growth around it, right? You see new life blossoming coming in here. Show the world the real you. They want to shout it from the rooftops. They want to tell the world that you are their person. That they want to move toward you. They want it all with you. This person, they they love you and they're passionate about you and they're fighting the urge to just charge straight ahead towards you. But it's like they're trying to hold themselves back calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together they've been calling you in they have been calling you in they have been waiting for you they've been praying for you express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture they want to have that conversation with you they want to tell you what they want here there's going to be a major transformation here transition into this relationship give your relationship a chance work on your partnership this person does not want you to give up on them they want you to be patient because they're working behind the scenes. They are working. They feel that you are their twin flame. You are their soulmate. You are their person. They are ending something in their life. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. They maybe want to take a trip with you. They want to disconnect with you. They want to like, you know, unplug the phone and have like an all night conversation with you very soon. Clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now. It's going to be unexpected. I'm really feeling like this is going to be a very unexpected change here. We have chemistry. This is my twin flame card. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. There is a strong pull here. On the bottom deck here, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your, in your love life. You have been waiting 
for a connection like this. And I feel like it's like, it's here. It's here. It's like, it's progressing a little slower than you would like. I mean, you want to rush straight ahead, but this person, they want that too, but they are holding themselves back because they know what you deserve. This person truly knows what you deserve. And I feel like that for some of them, they're ending a marriage or situation. They're, they're closing that chapter to give you what you want because it was too much of a burden and they know what you deserve. And they want you to be patient with them because they, they want to give you the world. They want to give you the world. For others of you, it's like if there's distance, they're leaving that behind. They're leaving that behind. More travel here. They are swiftly moving towards you. They are taking control here. This person, they 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 want to charge ahead with you. They want to start a life with you. They feel like you are their soulmate and they are yearning to be with you. They are longing for you, for this connection. They feel like you are an answer to their prayers. Mm, this is a beautiful reading, Libra. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. So Libra, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.